Good morning. So it is Friday morning and we have officially left, well started driving out of Delaware down to Virginia Beach about a four hour drive. So went ahead, dropped off our doggy stuff to our dog sitter and stopped at Continue Royal Farms. Highway. GPS. Stopped at Royal Farms to get cash for any tolls and now we are driving. So Woke up this morning, I have officially started water depletion. I had just one gallon yesterday and I'm down to just two of these today. So instead of bringing my big jug, I got two separate ones so I wouldn't over drink. Um, mentally, I feel like I'm really, really thirsty, but I think it's all psychological because typically I wouldn't even drink water by this point. But I feel like I'm dying right now, slowly. Um, husband, he's driving. I forgot my driver's license. How convenient, huh? Uh, so he gets to drive both ways. I might drive, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are this morning. We both woke up at 5.30 this morning. That wasn't fun, but I was just naturally up and shockingly he was up as well. So finished all packing right. all my stuff. I got, <laughs> got my scale with me so I can measure out my food and I just packed everything in bulk so I had enough room. Yeah, so as we get closer, I will check back in with you guys. We're gonna go to the beach first. So we're getting there probably was the eight. Probably get there around 12 and check into the hotels until two or three. So we're gonna go hang out at the beach for a little bit. Um, just kind of relax there and then we'll go check in. But I'll see you guys in the next clip. So we made it to Virginia Beach. We went to the hotel. Um, they wouldn't let us check in early. Check-ins not until four. We showed up at like down at 10 or 11. So we're like, yeah, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna hang out here for the day. Um, yeah, until it's time to check. Hey, so I figured I'd come back online while we're sitting here waiting um, and kind of go over what I've eaten today and my water intake. So I woke up, well, when I woke up, I ate four ounces of whitefish, um, a third cup of oats, and a handful of almonds. So it worked out to be about 15 almonds. And then I just ate my lunch, which was half a cup of green beans. Uh, it was about a cup of green beans, actually. I take that back. A um, cup of green beans, a third of a cup of rice, and um, I had a rice cake in between those two meals because I was still pretty hungry. And then I had another four ounces of fish. So I had to eat that cold. It was not fun. It was gross. Please, I don't recommend it at all. If you have a microwave, use a microwave. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at with food intake right now. So I still have quite a bit more to go and it's only about 12.30 right now. So as far as water intake goes, I've done about eight ounces of water right now. So I'm gonna try to keep it to about 16 to 20-ish ounces of water today. Hopefully dry myself out a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm looking okay. I don't feel like as lean as I wanna be, but I guess tomorrow we'll find out. Um, again, you can see my veins popping out, so maybe I am leaner than I think, but tired all in all it was a long drive it was four hours poor chris had to drive the whole way um but hopefully as i eat a little bit more throughout the day and actually get checked in i'll find my energy back um and now it's just a waiting game so once i head over to tanning i'll come back online and uh show you guys a hotel show you guys what i'm doing for tanning and then i'll sh take some clips over at the competitors um check-in which is at six so I'll see you guys in a bit hey ladies so I am officially checked into my hotel I um, scrubbed I exfoliated and I actually just got back from tanning so it happened so fast as the first one there is in and out I did happen to uh, sneak a pe uh, picture so I will post that here in a second after this um, just to kind of show you what it looks like if you don't know what it looks like it's crazy they turn like the whole room into tanning booths they got these little like tanning tents everywhere so pretty interesting looking um, the first part they said they just did two coats of a base um, and that took about maybe 10 15 minutes not even 15 about 10 minutes for them to do that and then tomorrow at 7 a.m. I got to go back for the actual like color that will turn me brown so I did one coat on my face two all over my body um, and then yeah so pretty uneventful it's early now. I, I've got to wait for athlete check-in, which is at 6, and it's about 4.45 right now. So I've got a little bit of time to kill. Um, so yeah, up until then, I'll have nothing else to report. So stand by, I'll post that picture. 
So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, that was just one side of the wall. It was like that all around, so like in a full square. So um, something I didn't know, I wasn't really sure what to wear down there. I tried to look it up and nothing of like what to wear was there. Um, I couldn't find anything, but basically I got there and she said, just rip down. So I was like, oh, do I just leave my thong on? She's like, nope, take it off. So be prepared, ladies, don't be shy. You can't be shy here. Um, you strip down, butt naked hop in a tent, they spray tan you, they put you in another tent, you dry, they put you back in a tent, they spray tan you, put you back in the other one, you dry. So, I did that twice, but naked the whole time, people walking around, very uh, interesting. And when they tell you to shave everything, seriously shave everything. I have hair in places I didn't even know I had, like up here, you can't really see it, but like little peach fuzz stuff. I didn't know it was there until it gets spray tanned and stark and you can see it. So sitting there, I'm like, what's on me? My hair. That's awesome. So, shave seriously everything. Even if you can't see it, just take a razor to quite literally every part of your body because once you get that spray tan on, it, it shows that you'll be able to see it. So especially for those who have really light hair and you can't see your hair, make sure you try to cover everything because that, as soon as it gets spray tan, it's going to be light anymore and it will be visible. So just a little tip for tanning there. So like I said, I wish somebody told me that. I had no idea, but be prepared to strip down. I got my robe on. I walked in there with just this and thong. Took off the thong as well. And then I came back up pretty much with nothing underneath. So yeah, uh, they said it will dry six to eight hours. It'll feel kind of tacky at first. Um, and then tomorrow, once they put the actual coating on, it will dry up and won't feel so sticky. But I did bring extra sheets for the hotel bed just so I don't mess up their stuff. I got an extra blanket and then I brought some long sleeve stuff just so when I'm rolling around it doesn't spread and I don't ruin their sheets because I don't want to pay for it. It's already expensive. So, yeah, that's it. As far as my water stuff goes, I'm really thirsty still. I've had about 14 ounces of water right now. Have just a little bit more to go so I'm trying to ration that out throughout the day I can see that my stomach and I, I would share right now if I wasn't naked underneath but uh my stomach is very it's getting very firm it's very getting very hard I can see some of the veins coming in which I kind of don't want that but um yeah so it is definitely working water restriction helps but I am very thirsty right now Alright, well, I will get you guys here in a minute whenever I go to athlete check-in. Good morning. It is Saturday, officially show day. I am so excited to get this over with. Um, I woke up extremely hungry and it is 6.28 right now. I think I'm up like 6.15. Um, gonna have a little bit of oatmeal and then I've got to go down at 7 to get the rest of my tan done. So, um, I will show you what I look like here in a second. And then I also woke up to find out that we're moving. So, for those who don't know, which is most of you, I'm in the military. Um, and just found I got orders. Downside is I can't tell where to yet. So, I have to sit here all weekend until I can find a computer, a government computer to log into. So, now I've got show day to think about and where I'm moving to to think about. So, it's going to be a fun day but I'll show you what I look like while I'm all right it's a little dark in here um, once we actually get up and get moving I'll do another one but yeah I'll try to get catch one when I come back from tanning it's a little bit better hey girls so I just got back from my tanning hair and makeup um this is what I look like right now I don't have my bottoms on but so not too bad we will see I'll flip this around. So we'll see how everything goes. I um, have had my breakfast. I had some oats, fish, and green beans. And then I'm about to eat a rice cake. And then right now, I had just some time to do my tanning, which took forever. Line was really long. Um, got By the time I went up there and came back, it, it had, about an hour had passed. So then I went upstairs, do my hair and makeup. And then right now, it's 10.20. The competitor meetings at 11 and prejudging starts at 12 so I'll head over there here in a minute I'm gonna bring my awesome chocolate bars hold on let me show you what these are I have toffee crunch and s'mores galore so excited for this one so I'll eat half of one not sure which one I'm gonna pick yet about 30 minutes before I go onto the stage 
and then um yeah then i'll come off and have a break and i'll chat with you guys there hey so i just got back from pre-judging i got first call outs i couldn't be more excited right now so shocked the competition is ridiculous so i wasn't expecting it at all to be honest just sitting there being a creepo and checking people up and down and there's no way um and they called me out first call out so i'm off for a break gonna go get my goodies my donuts and my um cupcakes Ooh. for later and then we'll be back for finals so hopefully i walk away with something really nice but if not it's not a big deal but i'm hopeful at this point now my attitude's changed a little bit um but yeah so i'll upload a video here in a little bit and then i'll catch you guys again at finals Yep, here I am, going to Duck Donuts. Just got my cupcakes. Now we are going to customize some donuts. Um, here's their menu. Pretty so I'm back in my hotel now and I got a sword. Not just one, but I got two. I got second in my class and then I got first for armed forces. So, so excited right now. I can't believe it. The competition was absolutely amazing. There's a point I was standing up there and I couldn't believe to even get called out. And then when they called me for second and first, it just, it was unbelievable. So yeah, I'm super excited right now. Um, my kids will be happy that I have sores. My son's obsessed. But now I'm gonna go and eat and drink. I'm so thirsty um, and I can't wait. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.